Hello? Okay. Hello? Good day, everybody. Welcome. Uh, thank you so much for being with us today uh, on this uh, Abbotsford Family Farm. Uh, today we're joined by uh, Minister of Agriculture and Fisheries for uh, British Columbia, Minister Lana Popham, Minister of Agriculture and Ag Food Canada, Mary-Claude Bibeau, and uh, Jeff as well, uh, the farmer here. So uh, we're going to start it off uh, with Minister Popham to say a few words. Minister? Thank you very much and thank you so much for joining us today. I'm very, very happy that I'm joined with Minister Bibo, the Federal Minister of Agriculture, uh, as we tour the devastation that has happened to this valley and other parts of British Columbia over the last month. I'm also joined by MLA Pam Alexis and MLA uh, Jagrut Brar, who is also accompanying us to see, see uh, the devastation. We've been on a tour that brings the disaster right up close and we've seen uh, and heard the stories from the farmers that are still in some ways in the middle of this emergency. The loss that has been fe felt is absolutely profound and the best way to see that is to be on the ground with the farmers. Uh, we've shared tears this morning. Um, we've seen videos of destruction and I think uh, from my perspective, uh, this has solidified the partnership that Minister Bebo and I have and our resolution to make sure we find a solution to help people as soon as possible. Uh, farmers want to get back to work. That's one message that we've received and we need to figure out a way to support them now and into the future so that they can. Food security in British Columbia and Canada is top of mind for people and farmers have fed us for years and years and now it's the time for us to have their back to make sure that they continue doing that. Thank you. Minister Bebo. Thank you, Lana. Um, I totally share your feelings, your sentiment. I think it is very important for us to be together in the field, field uh, visiting farmers, understanding better uh, the situation, understanding what the priorities are. Uh, it's gonna be you know it's gonna take time to recover and we really want to be there together to find out the best ways to support farmers at every step of the way there are already you know some programs that we can roll out very quickly we know there will be gaps and uh, our our teams are working around the clock to to make you know this support happen so but i'm i'm also very impressed by the strength and the resilience and the commitment to rebuild of the of the farmers and uh really we we, we the the message today is that um we're really impressed by, by your work and we will be there standing uh with you to to rebuild thank you and i think i'll ask uh, jeff spitters to come up to the mic I'd like to thank everyone for coming as well as the ministers for coming to see our farm and to see what's happened uh, for them to be able to see what we're striving to do as farmers to rebuild to be as strong as we can this is a community here in this prairie and without that community i don't think we would be where we are today and i just want to thank everyone that has helped us in our community from the eoc to even our staff without them without the members of our community we wouldn't be recovering as fast as we are and i do look forward to seeing what the ministry has available for us as farmers to be able to rebuild and ensure food security for all of bc great, great thank you so much uh to our speakers and uh, we'd now like to invite to a question and answer period for members of the media uh we're going to do one question one answer so if you um uh, sorry one question one follow-up pardon me if you have a question, please, uh, if you'd like to raise your hand, we can call on you and just indicate your uh, media affiliation. That'd be great. CTV. All right, first we have CTV. Um, yeah, this is a question uh, for uh, Minister Bibo. Um, because um, uh, Minister Popham uh, kind of alluded to s some, some videos and some tears that were shared during during this tour. Can you tell us a little bit more about why and, and what was it that you saw that really moved you? It is uh, very impressive to see the the scale of of the um, 
of what happened here and the fact that the water was so high, it lasted so long, so it created, uh, you know, the, the, the impact are more and more, much more important that a normal flood would have, you know, just going up and down overnight or so. Uh, when it lasts longer, obviously, uh, the damage are much more significant. Uh, it affected the business, it affected their animals, it affected their own, own house and family and community. So it's, it's the whole community who's being affected. And even if they are being hurt, impacted directly, they still find the strength to help each other. This is very impressive. Um, and I'm not sure which minister this would go to, but um, you know, uh, assistance has so far been being filed through the Red Cross. And you know, when uh, minister, uh, Prime Minister Trudeau was here, he said that the federal government would be matching dollars so with the province for donations. Are there plans for more assistance outside of that for farmers? It's really a work in progress, I would say. So we have opened up this fund with with the Red Cross, uh, and we will go, you know, step by step, you know, uh, evaluating. Uh, the needs and uh, the, the support will come by phase as well because we can uh, already in understand some damages and the need of the of the farmers and the communities but uh, other will we will be able to uh, to understand if the all the, the crops have, have been impacted or we next spring for example so uh, it is not something the evaluation is not we can do it overnight and we will keep working uh, together and with the community to uh, to provide the support that is needed. Maybe I'll just add as well. I think uh, today, well, leading up to today, we've had so many conversations one-on-one -on -one with farmers and farm families, and they are identifying for us some of the gaps that are more immediate. And we've had that conversation today that we need to figure out a way to address that more immediate need as we continue to develop a program for the future. Okay, thank you. Uh, Radio Canada. Bonjour, ma question est pour Ministre Bibo. On le sait que les fermiers, les pertes sont énormes pour eux. J'aimerais donc savoir quelle est l'aide financière que prévoit donner euh, Ottawa aux fermiers. À quoi ça pourrait ressembler? À quelle hauteur? Merci. Alors, il y a déjà un certain nombre de programmes qui existent et qu'on veut mettre en œuvre le plus rapidement possible, que ce soit euh, des programmes d'urgence, des programmes de gestion de risque. Mais on sait très bien que les besoins vont au-delà de ces programmes qui sont en place. Donc, un des objectifs aujourd'hui, c'est d'identifier où sont les écarts. Et euh, on sait qu'on va faire ça par phase aussi, parce qu'il y a des besoins qu'on est capable d'identifier aujourd'hui, mais il y en a d'autres qu'on va pouvoir évaluer seulement au printemps prochain. Et encore pour vous, question pour vous, ministre Bibot. Euh, on sait que les inondations semblent avoir été causées en grande partie par la rivière Nooksack du côté des États-Unis. Il y a eu beaucoup d'eau venant de, de l'autre côté de la frontière. Qu'est-ce qu'on prévoit faire? Les fermiers euh, levaient, sonnaient la, la sonnette d'alarme déjà. Qu'est-ce qu'on prévoit faire? Est-ce qu'il y a des discussions avec les Américains pour mieux protéger les fermiers de la municipalité d'Abbotsford. Il y a déjà un comité interministériel qui a été mis en place et ça fait certainement partie des actions qu'on va entreprendre. Euh, ça va inclure des discussions avec nos partenaires américains pour euh, faire en sorte d'avoir des, des, des mesures qui vont euh, mieux protéger euh, les communautés et euh, nos fermes ici dans la région. All right, thanks for taking my question. Um, I'm curious, we've heard from farmers who have addressed um, concerns about feed supplies. Uh, and I'm curious uh, if either minister or both ministers could talk about the efforts uh, being made to secure feed for farmers who have uh, had low returns because of the heat dome as well as lost it in the flooding. Uh, thank you for the question. So feed has uh, continued to be a challenge, although we have developed new routes to bring feed in uh, and we have a good relationship with the Port of Vancouver. Uh, our friends across the country, other provinces, are stepping up to see what our needs are and um, 
there there is definitely some difference in cost to what people are used to paying for feed but we've been able to put in place a program that pays for that differential and so that's been taking a bit of the pressure off but this is a problem that will continue through the year and we're committed to making sure that we continue to address it currently i think the feed issue is underhand but uh, or sorry in hand but um it you know there's it's something that we have to keep a constant eye on I think those conversations uh, still have to happen. So when I was out here just a week after the flood happened, the message that was given to me by many farmers were that they don't, they don't want to leave. This is their community, this is their home, and, and this is their life. And so uh, that poten potentially may change over the next few months. But I've, I think we both heard the commitment from people that are literally standing in mud that they just want to figure out a way to fix it and to get back to doing what they love. Um, we were just at a, a winery that grows blueberry plants and grapes and they've everything's covered in mud. They also had a nursery. And they were it was it was a it's a devastating scene. Um, they played videos where uh, over the week of the flood they were addressing their own very serious flooding issues, but at the same time they were helping their neighbors rescue cattle and bringing the cows onto their property. Um, they, they brought us through a greenhouse that had mud on everything. Every plant was covered in a, a mud that's like cement. And in the middle of that scene, there was a j giant jade plant. And two little leaves on that jade plant had already grown since the flood happened. So I asked the nursery owner if I could snap off a piece of that plant and I'm going to take it home. I'm going to grow it, and I'm going to. It's going to remind me that we can't. We can't leave these people behind, and we got to have their back. And I think we've committed to doing that together. Great. Thank you, um, National Observer. Thank you for welcoming us, Jeff. Um, this is a question for both ministers. But kind of looking to the Canadian Agricultural Partnership in 2023. What will this will this and the drought impact the kinds of farmings that we prioritize in our subsidies? Essentially, well, yeah, I'm sure you've seen the Guelph statement, and uh, the vision that we all agreed on was to make sure that Canada would remain a leader worldwide in uh, sustainable development. It's because we acknowledge the impact uh, of climate change and the importance of caring for our environment. So uh, there will be a lot of action. Uh, in the direction of supporting our farmers to be more resilient. Uh, the revision of the business risk management program, uh, we also agree that we have to include um, the uh, consideration for risk, uh, climate risks. So this is definitely at the heart of the discussion. No follow up. Um, can you please uh, talk a little bit, a little bit about the uh, rebuilding of the dikes and how it's going to be hopefully better and more preventative measures for future storms? Well, we do. We have heard that from farmers everywhere that they are looking towards the future and they want to feel safe uh, in the valley. That's a greater conversation that needs to happen, and those conversations will happen between British Columbia and Canada. Um, but today, we're focused mostly on the immediate needs of farmers and getting them through the next few months but that's absolutely a concern okay thank you are there has anyone not had the chance to ask a question from the media great okay thank you very much merci beaucoup